I made a horrific mistake. <laughs> I, if you're all angry that we had, didn't have episodes for, for like a week there, I know everyone was like, oh, we have theories about why this is happening. Oh, it was actually literally my fault. I told the guys some, that I think I told them Wade was supposed to host when I was supposed to host, and we just straight up skipped an episode. Do you know how many Blame Wade tweets I got just because you put that in your hashtag? <laughs> I I honestly felt bad about that. Like, I, I did that as a throwaway. <laughs> I was like, ha, I'll say it's my fault. And then and then everyone got really angry. You did. You literally, in the tweet, you're like, it's all my fault. And then you put, like, hashtag Blame Wade. <laughs> and every comment was no, like, yeah. Wade did this? That son of a bitch? It's true. It's not. It's you would think after some after such a long time of that being a constant issue in our dynamic, people going way overboard on being rude to you and shut up, Wade, and all this stuff. You'd think I might remember that that's a prop. No, I just did that oh, without thinking, and immediately everyone was like, "All right, fuck Wade." <laughs> <laughs> Let's just catch up on what the hell happened and how's everyone doing. So it started <laughs> out. On my birthday, right? We were doing ooh, some ooh, pickup ooh, shots ooh. for Iron Lung. Um, so I was working on my birthday already. Uh, and it just so happened, you know, in, in Iron Lung, there's some blood. So uh, it, also, side note, we might have the world record for most blood in a horror I movie. I saw that. That's kind of impressive. I need to do some calculations, but I'm almost pretty sure we have it. That's Because there's some horror movies that like the blood so that's i crazy. know yeah and there's a there's a nebulous quote out there that says like the new evil dead used fifty thousand gallons of blood and i'm not one to like really call out anyone <laughs> on weirdly big round numbers a, a jillion gallons of blood we are a jillion but uh if you if you know i looked this up before i gotta look it up again um like how much how many gallons in a tanker truck so you know those milk trucks or gas trucks that like it's like 10 10,000 20,000 i don't know it's 11,000 gallons hmm. in a tanker truck that big the reason I know quantities of blood and how much space they take up <laughs> is because we had to order a metric fuck ton of blood for the movie. So I know how much space it takes up. And there's a big difference. There's a big difference between taking food coloring and putting it in water and calling mm. that blood sure. and ordering actual, like, viscous blood. Human blood. Real blood. Which apparently you can order cow's blood. <laughs> if you want to know that, I looked into that as an option. I'm going to guess that that's not good to get on or in you so much as the synthetic stuff, though. Yeah. Our careers have us on some FBI lists with the shit we've searched. I swear to God, yeah. So I... it's it's like, <laughs> I, I would love for that other movie to have used 50,000 gallons, but that is such a strange round number with no evidence behind it. Uh, and even that, with that quantity, we we might be really close to that number, and I'm doing the calculations to get there. But it's like, goddamn, uh, yeah, the, it's it's a lot. <laughs> when you get into that quantity, it's just like astonishing. Anyway, so I was, uh, you know, we were using blood, um, and some blood got in my eye. So that's not good. Um, so what it did is it died my eyes red it literally just like poof. like that's why it was so vibrantly red it wasn't just like my blood vessels in my eyes it was literally i got i got blood in my eye and it dyed it red that's what that was and i went to the doctor the doctor said you're fine it'll go away in a few days give me like an antibiotic to squeeze in my eye just as a precaution and i thought everything was totally good right and then i like i'm on the way home literally when i get back home i get a call from my mom that's, uh, my mom tells me that my grandma is not doing well. My grandma in Korea is like my last grandparent left. Uh, and I said to my mom immediately, okay, let's get a flight. Let's get out there. And she's like, well, I don't know. I got to take care of the dogs. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Go put the dogs like in, in some, uh, care center, like immediately the next day, let's buy like next day flights out. Um, so we got them. It was like, I got the call on Thursday. My birthday was on Wednesday, got the call Thursday, and then it's like, I booked tickets for Saturday to go internationally to Korea. Um, and on Friday, I got a call from my mom at five that my grandma had passed away. And it's like, holy shit, like, number one, I'm glad I, I urged the tickets faster, but number two is like, oh my god, I'm going to Korea tomorrow. So I had to get everything, like, lined up. That's why, that's the real reason, like, Distractable, like, wasn't there, just in case people wanted to know. It's not, 
not Wade's fault. It's not Bob's fault. It's my my grandma's fault. That's who it is. We have episodes, <laughs> though. It is my fault. Like, I, that's very nice of you to take that. That's a real thing that happened that prevented us from recording this exact episode. Mm-hmm. But we have, like, the other episodes after this. We would have been fine. Okay, let me take the moral high ground here, guys. It is not your fault, Mark. It's not your grandma's fault. Bob, it is not your fault. It's both your fa- your faults. 